So, um, what exactly is a carb? So, people might think that they know these things, and I have made the mistake of telling people what low carb is, and what wheat-free means, or what grain-free means, and I have completely hurt them in their health endeavors, because I assumed they had a certain background knowledge. And I was really rude to my sister over the holiday, when she said something to me about making me dinner, and she got confused as to what a carb and a fat was, and I really hurt her feelings, and so I just realized that, you know what, this is a common theme, and she was doing something nice for me, so I thought I'd make this little, like, side video, just to, like, educate a little bit. So, bear with me, this might not be something that you're like, oh, I need to know this, but you might need to. A grain could be a potato, corn, soy, rice, and wheat. Now, when I say wheat, I mean anything made of the specifically spliced together grasses that is now common in most of our foods. There is something called ancient grains, which is a completely different species of plant and which we could eat without getting sick. But the modern day genetically modified, meaning that they like spliced it with other stuff, does not exist naturally in nature and it's really bad for our uh, bodies. It aggravates things like irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, and it's what started this gluten-free craze. The problem with gluten-free products is that they are very big on tapioca starches, potato starches, soy, and corn. Those things are all good and fine, except for when you put them in a fine powder, they are extremely high at spiking your insulin levels. Now, let's not get into the science. Let's, like, let's not go there. But let's just say this. You know sugar's bad, and you know soda's bad, because it, you know, everybody says it makes you fat. Well, actually, sugars also spike your cholesterol and are worse for you than fats are. So fats are okay, but the sugars are the ones that chemically get altered in your body that give you pretty much cellulite on your blood or other places, you know? So that's what everybody's trying to get rid of. And I wanted to articulate this because when you go with gluten-free, you're either going with another genetically modified wheat, which is where they take the gluten out. You're still eating something that's created by man that our bodies don't know how to, re how to adjust. You're like eating plastic for all intents and purposes because your body is as unfamiliar with it. If you eat a carrot, your body knows what to do with it. It's been around for a very, very long time. But this other genetically altered stuff, our bodies can't deal, and it makes us sick. We can have anxiety, depression. Um, we can have, like I said, the IBS or the celiac, and I think that that's from the foods. Again, that's just my opinion. Please don't yell at me in the comments below. And then, as far as my sister was confused, um, fats are mostly like um, in dairies and things. So, like, butter is good for you. Uh, cream cheese, sour cream. The dairy is modified, which can be problematic, which is why I tend to buy organic. And if you can get something raw from, like, a local place, go for it. That's, like, the best. That's, like, the highest of the high, most great thing for your body. Um, if you're dairy-free, then, you know, go with, like, the olive oils and the avocados and the coconut oils and those things. And if you don't have a problem with either, eat both of those. But let's go back to the carbs. Wheat could also mean white flour. And so wheat is products like cereal, uh, breads, bagels, crackers, chips, anything that says like it's a snack form and it's like in a little baggie. And uh, it's, it's, it's not good. It's really not. So if you have a gluten or a celiac or anything like that, I would just avoid those altogether. And look for products that are made out of flax, coconut uh, flour, almond flour, or nuts. Those are healthy in fats, and those are going to be better for your brain health as well as for weight loss and for your muscle growth and for your body. So um, I hope that kind of helps with the confusion there as far as what exactly a carbohydrate is. Um, and those can also be starchy vegetables, so like root veggies like turnips or, um, I don't know, beets. Uh, tomatoes are pretty high in starch, which is why they're kind of like in the fruit category. Oh, yeah. Fruits are carbohydrates, so if you're eating a lot of fruits and you don't know why you're not losing weight, it's because fruits is fructose, which is sugar, and sugar makes you heavy. So anything that spikes your glycemic index, is, is high on the glycemic index, is going to make you heavy, and that's not just sugar. So if you had a sandwich with two whole wheat slices of bread, you are eating a cup of sugar. That's what it equates to. Like, so I know we know sugar's bad, so just when you look at bread, think sugar. It's sugar. <laughs> Or if you eat um, corn, or if you eat soy, or potatoes, it's going to affect your body in the same way and cause weight gain as sugar. And tapioca starch, potato starch, corn flour are the major components of gluten-free food, and they will make you blow up. And you're going to be like, I'm eating healthy, I don't know why, and it has a lot to do with that. And then, of course, nice green veggies are really good, and I'm currently eating, like, a gluten-free BLT turkey sandwich. I didn't have tomatoes, but, I mean, it's got really good stuff on it, so I have videos to totally help you be successful with understanding this. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling because I'm getting to like long-winded and I get excited because I'm like, ah, I want to change the world. I want to help people be healthy and be the best versions of themselves. 
And I struggled with low self-esteem and anxiety and depression for so many years thinking that there was something wrong with me, but I was poisoning my brain with pesticides, GMOs, and bad foods. And I couldn't be as happy and wonderful and amazing a person as I could be because I was hurting myself with the food that I was, it was toxic. And I know that depression and anxiety is one of the rising things in the world right now, especially in places that are getting industrialized or whatever. So it's one of the biggest issues in America right now, and I know that's where a lot of my viewers are from, and I'm telling you it has to do with our food. And it affects your brain like heroin. You're going to be like an addict. I'm not joking. There's actually studies on this. That like the it, it breaks the blood-brain barrier, and it affects your brain. I'm going to tell you right now, I have never in my life drooled over a carrot or lettuce or beef. I have only ever drooled or salivated at pizza or a donut or a bagel because it affects you in that way. So you're going to go through a period where it's going to be like almost withdrawals. I got a flu for three days because when I skipped and got off of carbohydrates and things like that. So I'm just telling you right now, keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong with you. You're awesome. And it's just the food that we have is not conducive to some people's bodies and it makes them unhappy and miserable. And rather than taking a pill, which didn't, I didn't like the side effects. I would rather fill my body with good nutritious foods. So um, help me change the world. If you don't care, but if you saw this, tell your friend, subscribe below, share this with somebody who you really think it could benefit, and help me change the world. Help me change the mentality. Help me get this country off of prescription medications and and educate. That's I, I just want to educate. I just want to help. So um, I'm very passionate about this, obviously, and I've rambled on for seven minutes, which is way too long for a YouTube video, apparently. So uh, I love you all. Subscribe below, comment with any questions you have, or if you disagree with me, go ahead. We'll talk. Bye.